All right. Hello, everyone. I uh, hope my mic is working. I'm just trying this thing to see if it's working. Peace of Christ, all of you. Uh, let me know, please, if it's work. Uh, let us see if you receive anything from your side. Am I heard? Let us see. We are trying the other software, which did not work in the morning. It's working. All right. I think there's a delay from my side because until now I don't see the chat coming to me. Oh, now the chat is coming. All right. It took a little bit of time. All right. Well, you know, just I wanted to have like some uh, good time with you guys if you like to join us. Uh, in the morning, we have a, a video about Unity. And right away, I noticed that there is people who they are unhappy to see the Christians are united. You know, and uh, it's very easy actually to drag people into fight, but it's very hard to fix it. When people they uh, have evil heart, they are seeking the fight. They are not seeking even the talk. So there are people. There are some people you talk to them, and you know that talk can work with them. You know they are listening. And there is people who they are evil in their heart, and they just want evil. Uh, so I advise people when they when they see a comment like somebody, even maybe he is playing to be Christian, but he's trying to divide you, divide you. As uh, you are a Catholic, I am Protestant. You know, right away you should fight the devil. Just push him away. You see, always ask yourself a very simple question. <clears throat> those who oppose the Catholic, ask them themselves where they are coming from. You will see that they were Protestant, all of it, is born out of Catholic Church. So, so are you saying to me you are born of something bad? This is how silly some people are, you know. Uh, Sometimes I say stupidity is amazing. And the same thing I say to someone who is a Catholic, don't cast your stones. Every one of those churches, they are not perfect because church is, a, is people, not God. And as long as it's people, it's not perfect. And it will never be perfect. So uh, let us learn how to love each other and how to understand that all of us, uh, we have one Lord. And the important is that we share the all the important things, what is between the differentiation between those so-called churches, I call them so-called churches, because if they become churches of division, they are not churches no more. The difference between them is used actually by priests and bishops from all churches, uh, you know, to, to preserve their place, not to do the work and the act of, the act of Christ. You see, when a Christ, when a woman, she is not from from the nation, nation of Israel. He, she came to him and she worshipped him and she asked for help. She is not even a Christian, you know. I mean, she did not. She all what she knew that this is the Messiah. She heard of him, but she had faith on him. And yet, the Messiah, he did what she want. So, how about we have people who believe in the Messiah as God? As savior, believe in the Trinity, and yet, yet we wanna we wanna cast stones at you know each other. I believe this is very evil, and those people who do that, they are no Christian. Doesn't matter from which side. And I hope my my message is clear. All right. Uh, how is the sound quality? I'm not sure. And uh, let us. Uh, let us see if we can share something beside this. I'm just trying different software before I purchase, because you know when you purchase, it's too late. You know what I mean? That's it. You paid the money. They will not send it back to you. Uh, let us see. Let us see. 
you know, if we if we go right now and we try to find, uh, let us say, a Bible study, uh, each one of us, he tried to find something depending on what he do. Like for me, uh, you know, sometimes I study things not because I wanted to study it now, but because I needed to, let us say, answer somebody because of what I do. So let's say the nature of what I do uh, sometimes dictate on my studying more than my choice. But if you ask me, the Bible it have a lot of things uh, deserve to be studied and more worse than studying to answer. Because those who they are trying to seek answers, some of them they are decent, some of them they are just being evil, playing games. And uh, But either way, studying the Bible is a benefit for you it's not a waste of time so even when somebody trying to play games with you uh, trying to deceive you uh, when you study the bible always that will benefit you like uh, studying the bible is the same as doing physical practice uh, for sport like you join the army uh, the army you need a soldier but during the training to be a soldier they train you physically and this physical training the army will not take it from you. They cannot take it from you. It's your physical training. So they can take your service. They can take your time. Uh, in return, they pay you a salary. But the physical training is something nobody can take away. Now, there is other kind of training, which is the mind training, you know, the, the spiritual training. Uh, and mind and uh, uh, spiritual should work together. Uh, I just opened a website and uh, look like this website have some verses we can share on the screen. Let us see. There is no voice. Do you guys hear me? I think you hear me. If you don't have a voice, that's mean you have a problem from your side. That mean you have a problem from your side. You know, the Bible always concentrate in things can add a benefit to your life. The Word of God was not exist for the purpose of philosophy. And, uh, you know, some people, they enjoy philosophy, you know, like uh, the Greek in the old days. They used to meet just to, uh, to speak, you know, to... Uh, to enjoy uh, argument and debates. And the purpose is not really uh, who win the argument as much it is the training of their brain, who is smarter, you know? Who is more, who, who is the one who can use logic better than the other one? And uh, uh, people today, they try to imply such a thing when they speak about God and they try to use philosophy. This is why, you know, philosophy for me, uh, like I understand the logic, and uh, but but if even even the logic, it doesn't work when you speak about God. I mean, is it logical that Jesus is born of a woman, but she but he have no uh, physical father? The mother, you know, his mother, she don't have a husband. This is based on uh, in, in, uh, uh, physical facts. Uh, it's impossible. There's no logic of that. That's impossible. So when we speak about logic, which is based on science, or so the logic always is, is something we subdued to the idea which we experience. So if something we did not experience, we say it's not logical. Why? Because we did not experience this. So, uh, and then if we discover, like, uh, it become a fact, like the idea become a fact, then that will make it even more tough to accept. 
And this is why some people who don't want to accept uh, to believe in God, like the atheist, they say, well, we have facts, which is against what you believe in. So which one we take, a fact or, you know, your, your belief? The fact says, a woman, she needs a man. Then she can have a child. Uh, your belief says, a woman, she can have a child, even if there is no man. So how this person he will believe? That is not what he is seeking because he, he, he learned something different. But this is all based on experience, as we said, on life and fact generated from experience of life. So what about we find some facts for thousands of years? They were not facts. As an example, uh, right now I'm speaking to you through the internet, right? But we know like I can make a phone call to somebody in China and my voice will travel through the air and through satellite, whatever, and then we'll go all the way to China. And that would take maybe a few seconds to travel. If I say to somebody that this is a fact a thousand years ago, not a thousand years, you know, a hundred years ago, he will laugh at me. He will say this is impossible. He will accuse you to be crazy, and he will accuse you then to be a believer. Because you did not prove it to him scientifically. So what I'm trying to say, that those who they have what they call scientifically proven things, they might find themselves wrong later because they do not believe in your belief if that is a proven to be in the future to be true. Is my idea is it clear or I'm making it complicated? I'm not sure. So if I say there is a God in, in, in heaven and then the man he laugh at me and there is something happening in the life of this person and, uh, you know, uh, let us say he saw an image of God, uh, God appeared to him, a miracle happened to him, etc. Then suddenly the same person who deny, the same as Paul, you know, Paul, he denied Jesus. He hated the Christians. He want to go after them to kill them. He's a very conservative Jew. So the person who, you know, don't believe, uh, he have his reason not to believe. But if he decide really to search carefully and to think about it carefully, he will find his reasoning is not really valid. Uh, let us say I'm a person who believes in philosophy. I don't believe in God. And uh, my religion is philosophy. You know, convince me, debate me, be logical with me. Then if we go to the Bible, we'll see that there's nobody can debate Jesus. They tried. They used their philosophy. When the Jews, they said to him, should we pay tax? Their philosophy is, if he say yes, will he betray the Jews? Because Caesar is an occupier. The army of Rome is an occupation. If he say no, based on their philosophy, we got him. Because now the Roman soldiers will arrest him. He said no. He is a rebel. He is a rebellion against Caesar. And this is how we can get rid of him. So either way, we will get rid of him. Jesus used his, their philosophy. And he said to them, do you have a coin with you? Can you show me your coin? And then he looked at the coin, and it has the image of Caesar there. So Jesus says, give what to Caesar to Caesar. And from here we learn that those who they are trying to use their own logic, we can use their logic to defeat their logic. Because in most scenarios, their logic is stupid. 
even if they are smart. The same as what happened to those rabbis or Pharisees who wanted to, uh, to say, to make a trap for Jesus. It was a very embarrassment what they did to themselves. Uh, if you remember when I was speaking to a Muslim the other day, and I was just being, you know, friendly, I said the goat was under the, the billow of your prophet, the goat came, she flipped, uh, you know, the prophet from the pillow, you know, the guy, he said, you are lying. It doesn't say under the pillow, it says under the bed. So now because this person in his mind, he's trying to find something to use against me, uh, and supposedly he was excited. He found it right away. So I said, well, are you saying that your prophet used to sit on the Quran? And right away he started doing his best not to answer this question. And he might change it. So in the beginning he thought he got something. Ah, you died. It doesn't say that, CP. So always when you talk to people as a believer, try to understand their logic. And this is goes for anything. Even when somebody is coming to you to bash other uh, church, Christians uh, bashing each other, you know, Protestant bashing the Catholic, Catholic bashing the Protestant, ask yourself, what is their philosophy? What exactly they are trying to accomplish? Are you trying to say to me, you are the one who will go to heaven and they will not? You know that this is false. It doesn't matter who said that. The Lord, he said, from their fruit, you shall know them. And the fruit is based on faith, which means it's not the fruit really will save you. It is your faith. And if you have faith in Jesus, it doesn't matter what the name of the priest you have or what the church you go to. If you have faith that Jesus is your salvation, is your God, he died on the cross, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, you believe in the four Gospels, you believe in the, in the, in the, in the books of the disciples, uh, you are a Christian. Someone might say, well, there is books in the Catholic. Uh, it's not in the book of the Protestant. Those are tradition. Those are not even. They don't change anything. Those, those are tradition. Those are church father. They wrote books in the early Christianity. But for me, I believe those books are important. Why? Because we can learn about our history. The gospel is there for both the churches or the three churches and the books of tradition go read it but it's not you know uh, it's not god talking there but this is the earlier christians who spoke about their experience and how christianity established in their town their cities the same as the book of uh, book of acts actually when the disciples they were sending uh, uh, letters to each other and they are discussing things which is normal daily life you know so even like you got sick what you take as a medicine so uh, we don't have really a real differences the difference is it was about poetics and poetics always from the devil so try not to use poetics and not to be a politician all right Try always to be a, a person who is intelligent, smart, and uh, avoid being an idiot. Because if you are an idiot, they will make fun of you. And there's always an enemy. He is waiting for two people to fight. He's an enemy for both. You know what I mean? He is an enemy for both. Uh, if somebody want to join us, feel free. Uh, uh, just be sure. If you don't want to be, uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, I think this is the one. Okay, try this link, please. If you can join us. If in case you want to join us and be sure that you your camera if you don't want to use the camera I think if you use the computer uh, that will be easier to uh, hide your camera because simply you can flip if you have a camera on your computer you can cover it by a tape or something easier than the phone 
Uh, does the Bible claim that the sun set? My friend, I do not need the Bible to claim. I can say the sun set and you say that too. So don't be silly. This is how people they say things, you know, like, does the Bible claim that the sunset? Yes, my friend, the sunset, it's true. But this is a sunset, it's a it's a it's a sentence we we use every day, and scientists they use it every day. But doesn't mean we are speaking scientifically. Why, why people don't think? So what? The sunset, yeah. If you open Google right now and go to the weather news and ask Google when the sunset, the Google will tell you. <laughs> All right, let's see. Maybe we have somebody want to join us. Um, hello. Hello. Yes, my friend, you are live on air. Go ahead. Yeah, Christian, it's nice to hear from you. Uh, your voice is not uh, clear. Voice not clear? Yeah, it's okay now. Go ahead. Yeah, Christian, please, I use that name, Gigi. I'm in Saudi Arabia. Uh, no, I'm not, um, I'm not Saudi myself, but I'm in Saudi Arabia. Thank you for the great work you do. Thank uh, you, Prince my friend. Prince. Yes. Yeah, the, yes. you talk about uh, Christians, uh, Christian politics, uh, Protestants, Catholics. But how can you, can I get your say about uh, the, the, the Catholics using these images of Mary, images of Joseph, images of what? Can I have your say about that stuff? I, I'm, I'm trying to understand your question. The voice is not so Please. clear. Oh, can you say sorry. it again? Can you say can you say it again? Christian Priest. Yes, now is better. Go ahead. Yes, uh, I was trying to ask you, can you can you give me your say about, uh -huh. you talked about recent, uh, just, you have just talked about uh, politics in church. Uh, that's, why, that's why we have Protestants. That's why we have Presbyterian. That's why we have Catholics. But I want you to talk about the Catholics, particularly having these images of uh, Mary, images of Joseph and all the other saints, and even praying for the dead people. What is your say about that stuff? All right, my friend. You can hear me after you finish. If there's anything else, okay. Uh, yes, I can. I can hear you after. So let me first leave. Right. I will answer. I will answer you uh, after you hang up. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. God bless you. Yeah, you see, I don't agree with images, and uh, me, me, my personally, uh, I believe is wrong. But do you remember what we said about logic? Your logic, my logic. You know. So if you ask a person he's a Catholic, he will go to the Old Testament and you will find that in the Old Testament, that temples, this is the time of the Jews, the temple, the most honorable temple ever built by the order of God, used to have images. So they use that to prove their point that this is not really what God said, like the Ten Commandments said, uh, don't make images for what is up in heaven or down on earth. But images, those, those images, is images to worship. If the images we make is made to worship the image, the image itself as God, then that is false. If the image is an art, and let us say, uh, like, you know, when, when, when the temple decorated by an image of the cherubim, uh, the angels, the, the great angels. Are you worshiping the angels? No. You know, are they really God? It's an image, you know, it's a decoration. So they have their logic. 
I don't agree with it, me myself, but that will not change the fact that still they are Christians. Because if somebody did something wrong, let us say this is sin, but aren't me and you sinner? So are we Christian or not? So if what sin, if sin, or doing, uh, let us say, something not right based on the gospel, uh, that will make us not a Christian, then all of us not Christians. Do we agree, people? All of us, then, we are not Christian. Because if there is one of you is not a sinner, if there is one of you did not bring the command of God, if there is one of you, he did not do what is wrong. So, even when they do that, they did it because they love Christ, not because they hate Christ, not because the enemy of God. They did not do it for an evil reason. They have their logic. And if you say they misunderstood the Old Testament, well, maybe, but that will not make them not a Christian still, because still they believe in the Father, uh, you know, the Son, the Holy Spirit. They believe in Jesus as the only salvation. So that the rest is just, an, you know, an image. All churches, they have things which is not biblical. Is it biblical to go to the church and you are wearing clothes is not right? How come the priests don't kick women out of the church? How many churches they don't even tell the women to get out for not wearing the proper clothing? Or men? So, you know, people who they are looking for a fight, as we said from the beginning, they can find the fight so easy. People who they are looking for Jesus, they will find love in every brother in Christ. So depend on what you are looking for. If you are looking to, for a Catholic to fight with, you will find it. If you are looking for uh, a Protestant to fight with, you will find it too. As simple as that. What are you looking for? You will find Right. So we need to remember that that uh, even those we don't agree with, as long they are not like Jehovah's Witnesses, believe Jesus is an angel and he is a God, which means there's many gods. Uh, as long they are not like the Mormon, uh, if somebody bring other scriptures, which is not the scriptures, then uh, this is not the problem. We don't have a problem with them. So I say that a person who go after a belief with ignorance is the problem. Most of us, we don't know really what Catholic believe, and we do not know even what the Protestant believe, and then we throw, start throwing rocks at each other. And I believe that many priests from both sides, they uh, inflame it because they are evil, and they love it, because for many it's a business. Let us take our friend here, Baju. Bajiu, uh, your camera is open, Bajiu. Is that okay? Let's just let you know before I put you on. Your camera is on, just to let you know if you want to hide it. Yes, Bajiu, how are you? Or Bijou, I'm not sure if I'm saying your name uh, accurately. Do you hear me, my friend? Yes, yes, sir. I am hey, can you speak I am louder, please? Can you speak louder? Your mic is not too strong. Okay, I am from India. Yes. Um, I have been hearing your um, YouTube uh, for a long time, about two years. All right. It was very helpful for me. I just opened uh, this stream. Uh, I am new to this uh, stream, uh, so I just hearing you now. All right, my friend, you are welcome. Do you have anything you want to say to us? Do you have any question? No, I just opened the stream. Um, so right. I will hear you. After that, I will uh, speak something. All right. Okay. You are welcome. You are welcome. We, we love people from India. And actually, uh -huh. uh, India have one of the oldest churches in, in the world. You know, uh, uh, like, you know, Christianity spread. And this is telling you that Christ for everybody, you know, like there is some, some people who attack Christianity. And they say to you, like, why Jesus is white? You know, that's very funny. You will see nowhere in the Bible speak about the color of Jesus. Nowhere in the Bible ever 
even describe his look because it's not important in Christianity how he looked like. But the first, when disciple of Jesus, they went. The biggest number, actually, right away, they went to Ethiopia, to Egypt, and to India. Three major names, they went to those territories. So in India, they have one of the oldest churches in Christianity. And this is telling you that from the start of a Christianity, Christianity in Christ was for everybody, not for the white, not for the black, not for the Asian, but for everybody. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what your color. It doesn't matter what your language. The matter is that Jesus has came to save us, all of us. Thank you, my friend from India. God bless you. Take care. Uh, yeah, anyone will try to uh, make division here. He is not welcome. We will block you. I'm telling you. We don't welcome any of those people. We don't want them, actually. I don't want to even shake hands with them. Because uh, I believe people, even if they are good in their heart, maybe, maybe they don't, they are not evil. But they are doing evil. Because you ask yourself, what make me a Christian, really? What make me a Christian is believing in Jesus, not believing in a priest or a bishop or the Pope. So whoever believe in me and die will live. This is what Jesus said. Anything else is foolish. People who have the love of Jesus in their heart, they've been ordered to love their enemy. So how you don't love your brother in Christ? Uh, intelligence is the problem. There is people, they have a brain of a mosquito and they think they are genius. The more your brain is small, the more limited you are in understanding who is a Christ. So you start deciding who is a Christian. You start like uh, telling people you are uh, you are not going to go to heaven as if you are God. The same as the Pharisees in the time of Jesus. You know, they start telling him who goes to heaven, who don't. And they were watching carefully what everybody doing. You did not wash your hands. I mean, those people, they do all kinds of dirt. You cannot imagine. But they are watching carefully what everybody do. And this is how many of us we do in life. So we start casting stones. But if you look at your day from the morning until now, if you, if you see how many sin you commit, either in your thought, or in your your vision, your eyes, uh, or or maybe physically, maybe uh, you know, we do sin, yet we try always to cast our stones at others, others who believe in Jesus. Others maybe they have you know I I met uh, you know when I go to villages that's why I like to go to villages, you know poor people especially old ones, they have a very 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 touching. Uh, present, you know, when you sit with them, you you really you see God because those people, you know, they go through life, and life wrinkle them. You know, you see the wrinkles in their face. This doesn't make them ugly. That make them really beautiful. The wrinkles in their face is the wrinkle of wisdom, and the wrinkle of love. I remember once we went to a village and we were teenage. Uh, and, uh, you know, like something wrong happened and we did not go to the house which we should go to. And now we are homeless. And this village have a bus will come in the morning every day. And then the second day, the bus will come. That's it. So now we want to we sleep. What we will do? An old woman, we do not know her. We have no idea who she, you know, she's a Christian woman. She asked us, sons, what are you doing here? Why you are in the street sitting in the floor? I said, well, this is what happened. You know, we don't uh, have a place. You know what happened? We came to visit a friend, supposedly. He told us he will be here, but nobody. He did not came. Maybe he missed uh, whatever, you know. So the women, she took us. She fed us all. We are too many, not one kid, three kids, four kids. She did feed us. She take care of us as if we are her babies. She did not ask any of us what is your name. At night, she come to check on us if the room is uh, warm. She carry wood, you know, she's old, very old. I mean, if I, when I say the word old, I mean, I'm talking about old. I'm not talking about 60. 
This woman is a Christian. She put food. She pray. You know, she is moving her lips. We don't know what she is saying, but she is praying. And she, you know, she she made her hand in the food and the bread before we start eating. She make a cross on the bread, and this is this is what they do. And she did feed us. Until now, I do not know her name. If you ask maybe this woman about the Bible, maybe she do not know much. She is not a debater for sure. She is not a philosopher. She don't have a PhD. And maybe she do not know how to write, how to read. But she is a Christian better than all the Christians I ever met. Do you understand me? Who is the Christian? The Lord said, from their fruits, you shall know them. Not how much they know in the Bible. When the Aramaic women, she came to Jesus, she knows zero about the Bible. What Bible? Any, and there's no Bible yet. The Lord, he blessed her faith. So when we understand really what is a Christ, then we can understand what is a Christianity. The problem is people, they focus in text. They don't focus in the person. You see, when, when, when God, he decide that you don't work in Saturday, what the Jews start doing? They worship Saturday. Saturday became, that's it. It's a, you know, it's a taboo. But Jesus told them, well, Saturday is, was made for the man not the man was made for Saturday. Do we understand, guys, what I'm saying? Many of us, we became Saturday. It's a, it's a kind of a paganism, actually. We worship the law and we forget about the God. Do you know what, I'm, what I mean? We focus in the law, but we forget the law is made to serve the human being, right? The law is not made for God. God do not need a law. What God would, I mean, if you work in Saturday or don't work in Saturday, what that would do to, to the Lord? Nothing. He made the Saturday because people are greedy, especially the Jews. They love money. So he forced them to stop working and don't force your employees and your servants to work. They need to take a break. They are human. So Saturday was not made for God. It was made for the man. And many of us now, in order to judge each other, we try to find a mistake in you following the law. And the second we find you that you made a mistake in following the law, we stone you. Do you understand? We stoned the person. He, did, he broke the law. That's it. This is, this is the stone brain. Uh, yeah, if you like to join us, feel free. This is the link. You can join us. Uh, the law is not what make us really. Uh, the law is just, a, let's say, a guidance for a better ethic, for uh, uh, you know, not to to depend in ourselves. Uh, but all of us, we break the law. We, all of us. And right away, you know, we act in a very hypocrisy, hypocrisy uh, like uh, uh, style. We cast our stone at somebody, he broke the law, but we don't cast the stones out ourselves for breaking the law too. 
anytime you watch TV, you see something you should not see. Is that correct? You watch a movie you enjoy, they curse Jesus in the movie. They curse Jesus. They say the bad language to Jesus. And you're still watching. You don't be caught, those who made the movie. You don't be caught, the TV station who broadcast this movie. You don't be caught, Netflix, for making such a movie. You keep watching and you pay membership. You support the Antichrist. Which one is more ugly? Uh, let us take a call. We have Lavender. Yes, Lavender, you are live with us. Hello? Look like Lavender is not here. I, I have no mic from him. Oh, he is testing. Well, we do not need testing, my friend. We need people to join us. Hello? Yes, Phil? Hey, uh, Brother CP. Hey, my friend. How are you? God bless you, my friend. Uh, you're doing a marvelous job. And Rabbi uh, Obarik, Akhi Lazim. You're welcome. Uh, oh, you speak uh, Arabic, huh? And I'm in Sudan. Ah, I'm in Sudan. I was the one who translated the, 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 the last video, the Arabic video. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, be, you know, forgive me because, I mean, there's a lot of names. And if you don't have, like, if you don't talk to them, you don't, I mean, it's the internet, you know, like everybody can make any name he wants. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, I just yeah. wanted to say I agree with you 100%, especially when we're fighting the, this enemy. We need to be united and concentrate on what's ahead of us rather than this person is this and that person is that, you know. Uh, we need to have Christian unity. We have one enemy. We are united uh, by Christ. And, yes. and, and the one who do not know who is a Christ, he is the one who caused the vision, you know. Yes. And, and the Muslims, they are, they are people who do not know Christ too. So when a Christian, he acts like this, he is acting as a Muslim actually. In the Quran, if you remember, and I'm sure you know, chapter yes. 5 verse 14 says, Allah will spread hatred and enmity between the Christians. Yes. So when you do that, you are really serving the devil. Fulfilling the prophecy of the devil, uh, Allah. Exactly. Yeah, he yeah. promised. He promised and he keep his promises. And uh, people will fail over to the trap of the devil and they will do what the devil want. And they think, as Jesus said, time will think by killing, you know, time will come. Uh, uh, they think by killing you, they are doing favor to God. You know, yes, so the Muslims yes. they do that. The Muslims they do that, and then other of those who call themselves a Christian by throwing stones at each other, actually they are killing Christians, causing division. And, and I'm saying killing Christians physically. You know, not only. Yes, yes. You know, because that will cause. Uh, 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 you see, Jesus said, "Don't fear those who destroy the, the the body, the flesh, but fear yes. those who des destroy the, the the spirit." Yes. Uh, so uh, uh, Islam trying to use the division in order to destroy our faith. And those who help Islam to establish such a division, to be their tools in order to conquer, they are helping the devil and they are no Christian. Yes, and there's something very key uh, that uh, you, you, you said. We have only one judge. You know, why are we looking to the left and to the right? We have only one judge, Jesus Christ. Even Islam agrees that he is the judge. Yes. You know, let him do the judging. You know, just live as he said to live. Let, let him do the judge. And we know that he said it clearly, whoever believe in me. You know, so we yes. have a promise. It yes. doesn't matter really if you are a Catholic or a Protestant. That is not that. This is the last question Christ will ask you. Yes. And you know, actually, I don't think even he is happy to see that those uh, churches are exist with names you know jesus he start you know he established a church for the world not yes. a church and exactly. the church is us is not a priest is not a pope is not a protestant is not a catholic is not orthodox we are the church and as you see yeah. here you know when when uh, when you fight the division 
look at the Christians, how beautiful they are together, yes. you know, yes. Yes. because yes. there is no division. You know, the, div the division bring evil, bring hatred, bring cursing, bring, they, in, in, you know, they claim to be Christian, but the devil, in, in a second, he put them in a flame. You know, do you see how, how evil the devil is? How, how his work, his plan work? Like, yeah. you will see people sitting together and peacefully. The second you say Catholic, Protestant, fire is there. Yes. Why? Because yeah, simply... Yeah. Yes. Go ahead. Yeah, because simply both of them, though, those who ju jump into the fight, both of them do not know yet what Christ is about. They do not know that the devil, the devil is using them in order to divide and conquer. Yes. You know, uh, CP, within my family, you know, I have Catholics, we have uh, Episcopalian, different denominations, but we get together and there is nothing that you need to, you know, we're just Christians and that's it. You know, I don't know what's the, the big deal about that. Uh, that is, you know, for me, this is the last thing I will ask anyone yes. about being, being Catholic or Protestant. I will ask him what he believes. As simple as that. Do you believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit? Do you believe in the that's salvation right. through Christ? If you say yes, you know, that's that's what I need to know. And the rest is, is a history. Who cares about what, you, what church you go to? Yeah, death, uh, burial, and resurrection of Christ. Uh, that's it. Yeah, you know, I'm saying yeah. through that. Yeah. The, the you know people people who they are looking for a fight they will find it, people who they are looking for Christ they will find it too they'll find Christ. You know? exactly. So depend what you, depend what you are looking for, and uh, if Jesus he said love your enemy, then how in the world you don't love somebody who is uh, you know Christian like you, he yes. believe in Jesus he worship Jesus, and uh, uh, still you you look for excuse uh, to put him down and to cast him. As if you are God, you know. Yes. You know, one more thing, uh, Brother CP. You know, there's people right. calling and saying, "Hey, why do you talk to uh, Muslims like that?" I, you know, I lived in Sudan until I was 20 years old, and uh, I understand Muslims, so I understand your approach. They they don't know what Muslims uh, how they how to talk to Muslims. There is one approach that Muslims understand is to confront them. You know, if you come and sit down and say, "Let's sing a song together," and oh, maybe you know we believe in the same thing, they will look at you as a coward. You know, but when you confront them, they, they will respect you. You know, I know yeah, that one hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah, the Quran taught them that Allah He cursed us, and He caused us to be masakin. You know, He yeah, caused yeah. us to be humiliated so a christian don't understand that when he is kind and soft the muslim they think that allah is right yeah. you know yes he is he cares you know he cursed them look what happened to them look you know you are, the guy is not fighting the guy is very peaceful so yeah. they understand that our peaceful approach is uh, is a curse not because we are following jesus yeah. but however even those people who claim to be Christians, they did not even read the Bible because you will see Jesus flipping tables. Oh yes, <laughs> they don't want to see. They don't want to see Jesus the angry. They want to yes. see Jesus who was giving hugs, you know. Yeah. But Jesus so was by, uh... was... <laughs> exactly. So mm -hmm. but Jesus always, you know, he called them names they deserve. He called them hypocrite, liars. Your father is the devil, is, you know, a serpent, serpent. You know, I mean, all kind of description which I don't even use. You know, yes, I, I use idiot, liar, potato, you know, but if I want yes. to use the word of Jesus, they are really tough, you know, yes. but yes. those people, they don't want to read. I remember once I was speaking, you know, uh, you know, like I, I, I mentioned that before. I'm a person, well, I like weapon, you know, all my life. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, you know, a guy, he want to be like, he want to play a Christian, good Christian on me. And he will make you feel like you're a victim, you know, I mean, no. Like he or the the bad the bad Christian, mm -hmm. so he said to me, "We are a Christian. Why you carry gun?" I said, "What's wrong <laughs> with carrying gun?" He said, "This is not a Christian behavior." I said, "Why?" He said, "This is not a Christian behavior." I said, "Do you know the Bible?" He said, "Yes." He said, "Did Peter is Peter is a Christian?" He said, "Yeah, sure. <laughs> Come on, you know." I said, Did, "Yes." Do Peter have a sword? He said, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> and he was with Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Brother, I, yeah. have, I have one one in each room. I have, I'm, I'm legally, you know, I legally carry. 
I have yeah. one in each room. And a lot of Christians tell me, oh, you can't do that. I was like, no, you, know, you don't carry. I will carry. <laughs> that's false. That's false. <laughs> yeah. Jesus himself, he said. Jesus yeah. himself, he said, the one who don't have a sword, go and buy one. Go buy a sword, yes. They quote for you only what they like to hear. They don't want to quote to you what Jesus, he said, in truth. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But Brother, I will, uh, I will let you go, but I'm an expert in falafel, by the way. Uh, if you, I live in I Georgia. Miss if we, I, uh, I miss it. I miss it. <laughs> yeah. Falafel and fool. Fool, fool, uh, musri. Oh, I fool. love the fool. I love the fool. I wish I can have I some eat that every day. Yes. Yeah, too bad. I'm far from you. All right, my friend. Take All care. Right, and God, God bless you. God bless you. Yeah. Thank you for calling. Thank you. Okay. All right, we have a blue, uh, mon mon mountain blue. Hi, Sibir, oh. how are you? I'm fine. Um, Sibir, I do agree with your uh, point of view uh, regarding um, the Christian should be united. Um, yeah. Because uh, in, in my opinion, in front of the Abduls, either we are Catholic, or uh, Protestant or Orthodox, we are all their enemies. So it's 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 very silly if we are uh, fighting each other instead of um, fighting uh, uh, Islam. Yeah, for you know, this is what many people don't understand that for the Mohammedan, uh, it doesn't matter who you are. You don't know what actually. The, actually, the Muslims they consider the Catholic our number one enemy for them. You know. Uh, because the Catholic is the one who defeated them through history, and they are the one who kicked them out from Europe and from Spain. So the fact they, you know, uh, the Catholic is a dream for the Muslim to conquer and to, to destroy them. But at the end of the day, you know, mm -hmm. all, all, all of us is the same for them. It doesn't matter if you're a Catholic or a Protestant or Orthodox. Yes, exactly. Yeah. But in the same time, regardless if there is a Muslim or not, let's say there's no Muslim in the world. Those who they are, Dividing the Christians are no Christians. Doesn't matter who they are. You see, I can disagree yeah. with, a, with a Catholic person. I disagree. There's many things I disagree, but I disagree mm -hmm. with people who are Protestant too. I mm -hmm. disagree with the other churches. You know, I have, I have my. You know, if you want to go by the book, go by the book. You go by the book, then a woman she should not go to the church wearing skirt. Short skirt. Yeah, I do you agree. Go, you know, you go, you go to a wedding party. You will see some, some places, mm -hmm. not all. It's disgusting. This is not a wedding. You know what is this? You know what happened to women? Are you going? Mm -hmm. uh, they are acting like Muslims. You know, like Muslim, they uh, she wear the abaya, but underneath she is wearing nothing. So yeah, uh, uh, everyone. They are lowering their pride uh, by wearing uh, such kind of uh, clothes. Yeah, uh, you know, but 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 all of us we knew what is wrong and what's right, mm -hmm. and because mm -hmm. there is many priests today, they are like Muhammad. They don't they don't uh, mind because they want to make money. Who care? As long as they are paying me, let them come. You know, as long as my service is mm -hmm. not for free, who care? And those people are rich. You know, they will give me good tips too. You know, and so for us, you know, as a Christians, we know what is right, what's wrong. And if there is other Christian he do wrong, and that wrong does not affect his faith as a Christian, like he did not say, I don't believe in the Father, the Son, that would mean he is no Christian no more. He did not say, oh, Jesus was not crucified. That If he says that, he's not a Christian, you know? If he say, yeah. he don't mm -hmm. believe in resurrection, he don't believe in uh, the crucifixion, he don't believe in the coming back of Jesus, he don't believe uh, that Jesus is the only way of salvation. If he do that, then he is no Christian. But the person have a picture, even if strong, still is a Christian. You know, all of us we do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. all of we us are human, and human makes mistake. It's normal. Uh, the point is that uh, we have, uh, if we have already realized our mistake, then uh, we have to try to avoid it. And if then, for example, if the next day we are doing the same mistake again, then try try your best. But if you're doing the same mistake five, three times or four times, it means that you don't think, right? <laughs> yeah. And a human being uh, uh, depends on his int intellect and uh, uh, his understanding. Uh, he act and uh, he receive. And uh, we are here, actually, to correct people because some people, they are 
they are good hearted you know uh, but they are just uh, they follow the wave you know the wave mm-hmm. if the if the people around them if they grow in a house and the house says to them protestant are bad blah 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 so he will grow i believe in that you know he never even know what a yeah. protestant is the same for the you know a, a, a person in a protestant family they say to him the catholic the pope etc blah 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 so right away he start so we don't we don't want to follow we want to know we follow after we know not before yeah. mm-hmm. many people yeah. they mm-hmm. just follow they don't know what they are talking about so every group of a, 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 a christian group because they are a human a human do wrong including me and you and everybody and the one yeah. who mm-hmm. think to be perfect you do not know god yet because god is the only one is perfect <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that's so, right. So we need to learn first that when we talk to a person about his wrong, we should remember that we have our wrong. And then we ask ourselves, what make a person a Christian? What make him a Christian is believing in Jesus as God and Savior and the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, the crucifixion and the resurrection and the salvation of Jesus. If you believe in that he is a Christian, the rest is none of my business. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. I do agree one hundred percent with you about this one. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, sister, for calling, and we appreciate having you here. Thank you so much, uh, CP. Uh, I do appreciate your your teaching, and uh, it's really changed my point of view in a lot of things. And um, mm-hmm. I hope that you always uh, ha- healthy, and God bless, God bless you, brother. Thank you. God bless. Take care. Bye bye. All right, we have uh, we have John. Yes, John, you are live with us. Uh, yes, hello. Yes, John, you are live. Yes, hello. You are Christian Prince. Yes, I am. Oh my God, this is so nice. Uh, first off, I want to thank you for all the work you do. Me, myself, like, I wish I could, uh, since I was young, actually, I wish to do the same, you know, my, my heart was always like, I don't know, like, I was like, since I was young, my heart was telling me that Islam is nothing but a scam, and I just want to reveal to Muslims the truth, and I, and I just love seeing you do the work, and maybe in the future I can do the same. I kind of have the same passion. Well, you know, it is, see, always before you start, uh, like, if you want to work as a mechanic, First, you need to know the first thing you need to know how to drive a car, you know, before you start yes. working or, or thinking to be a mechanic because you know how this machine works. And this is the same for anything. So, I have a passion to do something, then I need first to know what I'm going to do exactly and what is the target. So, you need to study, you need to be ready because you know, this is like uh, you go in the stage and you say, Who wanna fight me? Not physically, you know, pretty much. But, virtually but if you are not well equipped equipped with the knowledge you will lose not because your faith that you believe in is bad but because you yourself you are not ready you know what yeah, i mean very much. so like, you need to like, prepare I yourself to, yeah i wanted to like tell my muslim friends even like i'm not like that old i'm kind of like a teenager now but i wanted to like tell my muslim friends like tell them how i feel about Islam, but at the same time, I don't much knowledge, and it's good like research, doing your own research to get so I can finally open up. Yeah, take notes, take notes, and study. And uh, like you know, when we speak about a topic, maybe you open a make a file in Microsoft Word and take notes, like yeah. this topic about women, this topic about legion, this topic is about etc. So one day when you need them, you read them, you prepare yourself, you read the Bible too, because they will ask you questions and they will challenge you. So you need to know the answer yeah. before you, start, you know. So it takes time, and you, as long as you are young, as you said, you have yeah. the time. You have the time, but uh, yeah, I have the all study, the time. Studying. Uh, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, no, I just wanted to say, like, I also like I can speak Arabic. Like, so I know the Arabic, and I know a little of also. And uh, yeah, so I can. I have way. I have a way better chance of doing this and sometimes i feel like this is a gift from god i was born in this land i can actually get islam 
exhausted with way more ease. Yeah. Well, as long so, because you speak Arabic now, you have you see you have a golden key in your hand, because now you can read all the Islamic yes. sources, and they cannot lie to you, you know, in what it's meant, you know, the, the game they play, all the translation yes. is false. So when you speak yeah, Arabic, I, that is, is, is I that always true. like, like I always like, like have the Muslim translation and I have like the Arabic next to it. And I can also read Arabic, and I just look at this, and I'm like, how, like, are they doing this on purpose, or, or there's no way, like, they're not, oh, yeah, they don't know, you know what, a, what a word means. They are salesmen, you know, a salesman. When a, when you go to buy a car, what mm -hmm. the salesman will do? Each time, each car he show you, he just show you this car, and he told you this car is the best. <laughs> then you, you say, then, yep. then you show him that this, no, I don't like it. Then he would go to the second car and suddenly this car is the best, you know. But he, you just told me the other car is <laughs> pretty the best. much yes. So, he is a salesman, you know, and this is what Muslims try to do. They are trying to sell you a religion. And the, 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 the way they say it is by lying, not by being truthful. Because it's religion of the devil. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, I have a question about Islam. Are we talking about that or just the Bible? No, problem. no you can ask me. It's okay. Go ahead. Okay. So, um, you know, the... You know, do the Muslims like they believe that the Quran is uncreated, right? That's what they say. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do Do you know why they say that? Is it because like Allah is supposedly uncreated? Uh, you see, the the, the Muslims uh, Islam uh, took stages uh, of development, like the embryo. You know, so the Satan did not come to be yeah. Satan right away. In front, you know. It was a, a small Satan, baby Satan, and the Satan, they start adding tail to it. They found there's no tail. They found that there's no eyes. They add eyes. They add the belly button. So he's, he's like, he's, a, he's born with no shape. Very disgusting. It's like a piece of meat. So the Muslims, through time, uh, some Muslims, they start thinking uh, in, in, in logic. So the one who speak of logic, and we, we mentioned logic in the beginning. He said, if the Quran is the word of Allah, that means it's created by Allah, you know? And we are talking about words. Yeah. You know? We're not talking about God himself. He's, remember in Islam, the word of God is not God, you know? It's not. So, yeah. So they, they made their logic and they are right. I mean, who is, because... who is the one who, who is the one is the source of, uh, of, uh, uh, the verse we you know we show in the screen or Jesus say Jesus say that means the word is coming from Jesus very simple but because yeah, now the Quran became became a holy by itself and the Muslims are confused and the one who have the sword is the one who control so those who they said uh, Quran is created they were not the caliphate they were the philosophers let us say the smart one between the Muslims and the one who they are savage they are the one who have the sword and they are the one who took over the government so the savage killed the thinker and now they went extreme that anyone yes. will say that the Quran is created we will kill him and since then who there otherwise there's nothing support I really see, yeah there's no support in the in this religion if we read the whole Quran there's nowhere it says that Quran not created. Nowhere. So where is this coming from? You know? But that will, uh, will add, see. you know, add because... additional uh, uh, reasoning to believe Islam is just a fraud. It is not just made of Muhammad. It is additional. Like, you know, the Quran you have today, there's a, there's a person who is not even an Arab. He is the one who made the Quran the way it is. You know, you see those, you speak Arabic. Uh... Yeah. Uh, you know, the, the Shadda, the Fatha, the Kasra, etc. He changed a lot of things in the Quran and he changed the meaning. Oh, yes. Yep. Yeah. I know them. Yeah. And it, yeah. Uh, if you remember, we have a, we have a Sheikh, uh, I forgot his name, uh, Amran, something, something Amran, an old Sheikh from Australia. He, he lived in Australia. Uh, Amran, I think Amran Hussein, yeah. Oh, yes. Amran Hussein. So when he said yeah. about Liya Alamullah, you remember Liya Alamullah? He said, "There's a yeah. mirror here. How Allah? How, now Allah will know." Yeah, in the, the, the <laughs> you know. So this, so the, 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 this is, doesn't. Yeah. 
yeah yeah even even like it's like it should like he said it's alamon but i think it's alamaton it's it's the correct one Alama. Uh, uh, uh. Like, he, actually he mentioned many verses but this is one of them uh, you know but uh, yeah. but uh, but it doesn't make sense, and this is why he's saying uh, how in the world this has came to be exist in the Quran, you know, and he explained why, and he's right. Yeah. So, uh, but what happened that this person who start start correcting the grammar of the of the Quran, and the uh, uh, what what the Quran where the Quran does not make sense, he tried to make it his own way, and then the Muslim they adopt, and now the Quran we have today is what he did is not is not what the Quran used to be, you know. Uh, in the Quran, there was no tashkil, and I you see. know, without tashkil, uh, yeah, the, the same word can mean many things. Yeah. You know, like the ilm can be alam. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, can, uh, uh, yeah, like the verbs in Arabic, like the verbs, the verbs in Arabic, like they, they change a lot. Like for example, amr, it's uh, like no, or any other word, like just add it, like it may like change from the past. To the future, yeah, to the present, uh, Amr, uh, Amr, Amr, Omar, you know, uh, you know. <laughs> yeah, pretty so, much. So, it's not the same at all. So, just adding little bit evolve or sukun or fatha or kasra, you added the whole meaning change, you know. So, and this yeah. is what happened exactly through history, and this is like the development of the Quran through history. Uh, and then when the Saudi oil came. The Saudi they became the richest and they have a lot of money and they have a budget of almost 10 percent trying to copy the Jews to go uh, to print the Quran to do dawah and uh, they start printing this version of the Quran which is the reading of Hafs which is not really they don't have even the book of Hafs nobody have the book of Hafs they have the recitation of Hafs and the reciting of Hafs is based on uh, recitation or the book of Uthman but nobody have Uthman and Hafs is different from the rest. And then we read in the books, we find that Hafs was accused to be a thief. All right? Hafs was accused to be a thief. I feel like, like, I don't think they have, they have literally anything. Like, they, I don't think they can prove the Hadith from Allah. They cannot prove that the Quran is from Allah. They have like a guy, a Jew guy, maybe he's Satan himself. He came lying and then he told him, this is Allah, this is a book of God. Who knows? You see the Quran says no, no, I, no, I didn't check at all. Yeah, but but uh, you know the Quran itself actually you can find over the proof against what they believe in the Quran. The Quran says this is the statement of honorable prophet. You remember that, right? So when when uh, uh, when I don't uh, remember it first. yeah, if you go to the chapter of Al Haqq, you know, uh, uh, forty. It says, La qawlu rasulin kareem. It is the statement or the say of honorable prophet. So if the Quran is from Allah, then how the Quran say, this is the statement and this is the same in the chapter of at takbir So, innahu, uh, innahu la rasulin kareem. It is the say of honorable messenger. So if the Quran is the word of God, then how it become an honorable messenger talking that is impossible uh, and so it's this why i say always you know use their books in order to prove their stupidity so if you go to chapter 69 i don't know if you can see my screen chapter 69 verse number 40 and chapter 81 verse number 19 yes yeah, both of them it says it says it is verily it is the word brought by a me uh, honorable messenger look at the translation Look at the Arabic and look at the translation next to it. So, uh, it, I mean, it's funny. Brought, so, brought. <laughs> yeah, like verily, it's a word brought by a messenger. What the heck is that? It is the words of honorable messenger. So if the Quran is the word of God, how the Quran says it is the word of honorable messenger. Is Allah is a messenger? The Muslim, they will say, no, he is not. So how in the world? that happened you know it's a stupid book so either somebody change it from the time it was with muhammad or it's preserved as the muslim they say and that make it even more horrible and more stupid
And look, look, look at this translation here. Look at this. The the Arabic is a three words, four words. You know, the translation became a story. It's just to fix it. Verily, this is the word. It's not the it is said. Yeah, the is, is, he said. Yeah, yeah. it's a, it is. This a is the word, is what, not a broad yeah. word. And then they have to add a bracket. This is the Quran brought by most honorable messenger. Brought by. This is what the verse is saying. It says he said not brought. You know. I mean, this is stupidity. So they try to cover it when the verse is so clear. It says, this is the statement of honorable prophet. Suddenly they add the word brought by the most honorable messenger. And then they add Jibreel. And they add from Allah. All of this is addition. <laughs> the, only, the only statement, the only statement is a true. Verily is a word. The rest is addition. They cut the verses. The next should be. It is the statement, it is the saying of honorable prophet. Not even a word, actually. It's the saying. Not, there's no word. So nothing, actually, in translation is accurate. And then, uh, uh, in your case, because you speak Arabic, they cannot mislead you and deceive you with this uh, yeah. you know, false translation. But if you don't, and you open it, you will take it. You know, because what you can do, how you know? Look here, this translation yeah. here, by Yusuf Ali, it is, it is more accurate than the rest. Verily, uh, this is the word of most honorable messenger. I'm fine with that. But do you see the difference yeah, this, this, between the translation? Uh, yeah. But now, as long as the, the Muslims, they, they have to agree with this. I mean, you can take this to Google Translation and translate and get them busted, even if you don't know Arabic. But the verse here alone is enough to prove that the one who wrote the Quran is an idiot. And this time when he was making the verse, he was praising himself. This is Muhammad making Quran, praising himself, saying that he is the one, is the most honorable prophet, and this is his words. He forgot to, 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 to change it uh, uh, because he's stupid. Uh, like I, I, I always told them that the Quran is coming from Allah. And now I'm telling them this is the word of honorable Messiah. And if the Muslim they say this is Jibreel, that's mean Muhammad, he did not get message from God. He got message from an angel, and this is not the word of Allah. The Quran then, if this is Jibreel, the Muslim they will say this is Jibreel. The verse is so clear. This is the words of most honorable messenger. So the Quran is the word of who? If it is Jibreel, it is horrible. If it is Muhammad, it is more horrible. Because their God is not there. All right, my friend. Anything else yeah, you want to say? This is, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I just want to, like, no, I, I, like I said in the beginning, like, I want to thank you for doing the work that Arab Christians, they want to do too, but they're scared to do it easy. And even sometimes it's easier. It's like, uh, you, know, you know, you're doing amazing. Like, I don't have to tell you. And, and we are proud of you as Arab Christians. Thanks. And as Christians, thank as you. general. Thank you, my friend. God bless you. God bless you and your family. Take care. Take care. Fear not, the Bible says, and the Lord says, fear not. You know, fear is our enemy. You know, when you have fear, you can do nothing in life. Fear not. You don't live. The person who has fear, you never live. And you know, I, in my experience, the people who die early is those who have fear. <laughs> Honestly, people who die early, people who lose their life, people who is the one who have fear. You try to protect yourself all the time. And then your protection will be your death. Just be smart. Don't be stupid. But fear not. Fear not nobody. If the Lord is with me, who could be against me? Uh, anyone have any other question? You see, like today, uh, we don't have too many. I don't know how many people here. Not too many people here, actually. But usually, like Saturday, people, they are with their family, etc. It's okay, you know. Still, what we do is is uh, is important and uh, good to hear. 
And actually, I like this those programs. That's why I'm interested to see how good they are. So we can take calls easier and we can have more people sharing with us. And I'm so happy, actually, to see Christians calling. Uh, always, I don't want Christians to call because, you know, when I have a... I want to focus in, in Islam and I want... Uh, I want you to hear the Muslim defense. You are not a hero if you win a match playing alone. You know, like you play a chess and then you win. You win with who? And this is what the Muslims do. You know, the Muslims, either, even when they debate, they debate somebody who do not know. They choose carefully to debate who. Uh, Do we have any question? Anyone have anything? Why Muhammad called dogs najis? Najis means dirty, filthy. But you see, this man is a crazy person. And, uh, you know, he claimed, if you remember the story, uh, the angel Jibreel, he gave him appointment. Do you remember the story? He gave him an appointment, and then he did not show up. So Jibreel, when he came, he told Muhammad, Muhammad, he told him, why did you not come? You promised me. You promised me to, uh, to come in, in, in this time. Which is very funny, an angel promising time. What time? So, uh, uh, why you did not come? Uh, the angel told him, I could not come in because there was a puppy, dead puppy, under your bed. Angels don't enter houses who have pictures or dogs. So, Muhammad, as you see here in the hadith, so Muhammad then, he claimed that dogs are the enemy of Allah and we should kill them. And this is additional proof that Muhammad is a fraud, an angel of God who is extremely powerful. He cannot enter a house because there is a puppy. What will happen exactly to the angel? Ya Ili, هذه القناة باللغة الإنجليزية تعلم الإنجليزية كي تفهم I hope I answered you Actually every story of Muhammad is a joke An angel he cannot get in And this is supposed to be a very powerful angel The Quran speaks about how powerful angels of God They can kill army They can destroy armies and now the angel who just can destroy army. What if the army have a dog with them? <laughs> okay, and you know, just to show you how stupid, silly the idea. If an angel cannot enter a house, have a dog. How he enter a city full of dogs? What different is it, you know, is that? You know what I mean? If the angel cannot enter a house, the angel, according to Muhammad, he covered the horizon. He's so big. So what difference is going to make if it's a house or a city? So the whole town have dogs. If the house, if the if, if the angel cannot enter a house, this mean because of a dog, then how he entered the, the, the city? But this is what you say about stupid. You know, when I say stupid is amazing, who want to use his brain? Nobody. Using the brain hurt, you know, it's not, uh, it's not healthy, it hurt. Uh, we have Moon, are you there Moon? Let us bring him to, our, to the chat. Moon, are you there? Your, your microphone is muted. Well, I will, I will mute you then. Any other question?
And you know, here you ask yourself, so Muhammad was staying home all day, he don't go out? He don't go to the yard, you know? So what, what is angel is? What is angel is? What angel is? A dog? Right? People, they are sending messages here. In this program, you can send messages, which is strange. Uh, let's see. I'm learning about this program. All right. You do not need to send me texts for messages. Just uh, if you want, you can. Uh, I mean, guys, if you don't want to call to talk, uh, there is no need for to text me. Let us see. Any question? I'm looking at the chat right now. I would like to call you, but I will become speechless. What is your question, Abby? I did not see any question. All right, we have somebody calling. Yes, Dan, Dan? Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Do I need to show my face on the camera? What the? In, you know, I do, we do not need your camera, but anyway, go ahead. What do you want to say? Okay. Yeah, why is it that you're the one who has to expose all the all these errors in the Quran? Well, why do you think it's not so obvious for other people? Well, I mean, isn't it obvious that smoke is bad? Still, people smoke. Isn't it obvious that drugs is bad? Still, people take drugs, right? Yes. Human being is a stupid, my friend. Not everybody have a, have a, have a not everybody uses a brain. You know. Sure. I mean, you do not need to be not, not, you do not need to be genius to know if you take drugs, you are destroying your health and your body, right? Mm -hmm. But how many how many millions they do it every day? They do it. Too many. It doesn't make and any drugs, sense. Yeah, and drugs is the same, and the same as Islam. No, they're not different. You know, it's uh, somebody drug you. But, you know, you, you go fight for me, and I will give you versions. It's drugs. You know, it's just uh, uh, you know, you, you make you uh, imagine, dream about uh, uh, a reward you have. It's a sexual reward, money reward, gold reward, and uh, you know, there's the world is full of fools. But with smoking, people. People see the problems, but of Islam, they don't even see these problems. That's right in front of them. Well, even the one who see it, there's you know, there's two kind of people. There's people who see it, and they decide to not to let us say uh, to think about it seriously, or they have to ignore it because of a situation they live in. Like I say, if you live in a Muslim country in a Muslim society, and you know, if you say this is true, you will be killed. 
So what do you do? Eh, just you know, let it go. What you can do? You live here, and the majority are yeah. Muslims and they are aggressive. And there is other ones who they are not. This is not really a reason, uh, but they they knew they will lose some kind of a privilege. Like uh, uh, if I'm a person I live in America, and uh, uh, still I have to. All my friends are Middle Eastern. Let's say, I'm not talking about myself, but usually this is the case. A Middle Eastern. You know, they have yeah. friends, uh, uh, Middle Eastern society, community. So if he leave the faith, he will lose them all, you know. So some people, they are not willing to lose in order to gain. But the smart one is the one who really don't think about the gain uh, or the lose. He think about what is right. Mm -hmm. You know, I would do what is right. And what is right is, this is about salvation, I will lose a friends or I will gain friends. It's not important. I will I will win myself. So some people are just kind of cowards and they continue in this lifestyle. They are seeking, privilege. They are seeking benefit in this life, you know. So the, what the Bible says, what is the benefit if you win all the world and you lose yourself? You know, you win, go win. So you, you, yeah. many people, they want to win. They want to win friends. Uh, how many? How many Christians, even Christians, they hear a friend, he is an atheist, making fun of the Bible, but they don't open their mouth. Why? Because they say to themselves, oh, if I now try to refute him, he will stop being my friend. I will lose him. You know? I will not go out with them. They will not accept me. Uh, the girl, she is, uh, she is trying to be Christian as much as she can, and she is going with a bunch of women who like, you know, they want to drink, they want to smoke, they want to sleep around, they want to do whatever. And now, in order to be with them, she have to change and act like them. Otherwise, she is not welcome. And this is what happened to most of people. You know, even those who they are not convinced in what they do, they do just to uh, join a company, not because they are convinced with it. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. I guess that makes sense. Yeah. All right. Anything else? Dan? Uh, no, not really. That's it. All right. All right. Thank you for Bye. calling, my friend. God bless you. Take care. You're, you're welcome. You're welcome. Goodbye. Yeah, I'm glad to see like some young, uh, 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 young ones calling. That's a good sign. You know, they are not busy with the games. There is, there is, there is young ones who they are smart, thinking, and they are sharp. That's a very good thing. These days, everybody, you know, nobody really care for something serious. Uh, Moon, are you there? I tried to put you in, but it says your microphone is muted. Are you there, uh, Moon? Hello? Are you there, Moon? I guess Moon, he have a difficulty and he is not able to function uh, from his side. Are you there? Okay, well, I will mute you. You know, don't worry about the camera because nobody can see it, you know? Only me from my side, I can see the camera. Uh, And uh, Dan, please exit because you are just taking a space. If you can exit, let me remove you. All right, that will be better. Okay, Hello? Mona, are you there? Now I hear you, Mona. Go ahead. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah, I hear you. Go yeah, ahead. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for your. I don't know. No, I, I'm, I'm, I'm online, so please, uh, the top. Actually, I want to share Christian from the Middle East. Quick. Uh, what happened like two weeks ago? He's Muslim. So uh, he, he shared something on Facebook. Uh, I don't go in these arguments. But I, I did respond to his uh, shared. So uh, this is our belief. Like uh, uh, that even Jesus as a 
God. My very first time with the Muslim. Yeah, Moon, Moon, I, I have to apologize from you. Your voice is cutting badly and I cannot understand the word. So my friend, fix your internet connection and maybe you can try again. I cannot understand. I cannot make a word of what you say. I apologize. Uh, <clears throat> you know, if we look at what Jesus teach and we look at what Muhammad, he say, I mean, this guy is a, is a mad idiot. The word idiot is not even enough to describe his stupidity. You know, kill the black dogs. The black dogs is a devil. The yellow dog is fine. I mean, this, what, 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 you know, not only he is stupid superstition, he is racist. He is evil. He always try to attach any creature. He is black to be the devil. Uh, please refrain from using bad language in the chat and uh, Ely be nice or we will block you do we have any question Would you please explain the origin of the word Quran? Well, Quran is not an Arabic word, actually. It's coming from the Aramaic language, which is Qarra Wara'a. Qarra mean he say. Ra'a mean he saw. So you say what you saw. That mean reading. That mean reading. The Muslim, they say the Quran mean recitation but recitation cannot be Quran because you don't you know you are reciting you don't see especially Muhammad when he have it Muhammad did not receive a book Muhammad he did not receive a paper even the Muslim they claim that he did not even know how to write how to read so it cannot be Quran the word Qira'a anyone who knows Qira'a uh, uh, mean reading, you know, you see the words, you read it, not recitation. Uh, uh, Eli, I have to block you because you are just disturbing people here and you don't even speak English. All right. I don't know what happened to the chat. Let me see the chat here. Yeah. Uh, when the angel, he came to Muhammad, he squeezed him and he said to him, Iqra. Iqra, which means read, it doesn't make sense. And of the word Ikhra, he meant to say, repeat, even that doesn't make sense. Because why Muhammad, he says, Ma'ana biqari. The Muslim, they understand Ma'ana biqari as I do not know how to read. So obviously, Muhammad, he understood the word right in this scenario. I do not know how to read. But shouldn't he ask me from first what to read what and what? Uh, well, you did not give me a paper. So in Arabic, actually, those who speak Arabic, they knew that ma ana biqari can mean two things. Can mean what I should read or I cannot read. However, both of it is a stupid. Why? Because Jibreel he did not give him anything to read. And if it mean I cannot read and then the angel keeps saying read, that's stupid more. Because you just he just told you I cannot read, and you did not give him anything to read. Uh, the Muslim agree that he there's no book, there's no paper, so read what? No, and if it meant repeat, that is more stupid. Why? 
because how Muhammad can say I cannot repeat. He just say, he says repeat the word. If the word qari or iqra mean repeat, well Muhammad he just said it. So how you say I cannot say it? <laughs> it's a stupid religion. It doesn't matter where you take it, it's messed up. What the difference between Hafs and Warsh? Well, the, uh, you know, remember Muhammad, he said there is many, uh, there is many Ahraf and there is many Qur'an. The Muslim, they say Ahraf is different from Qur'an. And that even make it more stupid. But as an example, I will give you an example. Uh, if you remember the book of Ibn Kathir, Tafsir Ibn Kathir, let me try to find it. Most time they say that you know there's really not not much different. I mean, it's just like a a dialect, you know, like a different uh, uh, you know way to say things. But this is absolutely false. I'm just trying to find the website. If you remember the, the verses where it's, it speak about the shems or the sun, which is run to uh, a, a, like a destination. And the sun runs his course, his course, the sun runs his course hmm. of for a period determined for him. That is a decree from Allah. So the sun runs to a fixed course. A fixed destination. You change the translator here. I mean, it's a very <coughs> horrible when you try to deal with those translation. And the sun runs on its fixed course for a term. Okay, if we go to Ibn Kathir, we will see that there is other reading saying the sun does not run to a fixed course. Remember, this is the Quran, chapter 36, verse number 38. So if we go to 36. And we go down, 36, 38. Here it says, the sun run to expect course this is one reading you see it and the sun runs into a fixed course okay wonderful then if we go down here a little bit it says again the sun run into fixed course and then we go down look what has happened here and the sun runs with no fixed course. What is this? This is different reading. If you read, is that the same Quran? Ibn Mas'ud. The Quran of Ibn Mas'ud is saying that the sun does not run to a fixed course. And Ibn, Ibn Abbas, he said the same. And that changed everything. And this is just an example of how the Quran is messed up. If the reading is just a dialect, then the dialect should not change the meaning. And as you see, this is the same dialect. Anyone who speaks Arabic, he knew that this is the same. This is the dialect of uh, Quraysh. Nothing changed. What dialect? And the funny is, all of them, they live in the same town. What dialect? 
they are family, they are a tribe, Quraysh. So how the Quran will come in seven day, like if it's just a small town, a thousand house maybe, maybe less. So the sun runs or the sun versus the sun does not run. The sun run to a fixed course or the sun does not run to a fixed course. This is not just different recitation. This is different, totally different meaning. The opposite. The sun does not settle or the sun settle, as you say. This is additional, this is what uh, Yasser Qadi, he spoke of. There's holes in the narrative. There's holes in the narrative, big holes. Exactly, Phil. Yeah, Phil, he speak English better than me, I can't tell. He's doing better translation. And this is going to be the same. It's, it's a, it is a huge difference. I mean, it's obvious. It's like saying you have a car, and I say in the different you don't have a car. So which one? The train is going to a station. The train will keep running forever. There's no station. Because they are ignorant. You know, here, the question... If Islam does not like black people, so why many black people they practice uh, Islam? Because they are ignorant, they do not know. They don't know. You know what they tell them, the opposite. They told them Islam free, you know, against slavery. It's like, look what the white man did, look, you know. But the truth is, Islam is a very racist, it's a white supremacist cult against black, against Asian. Gog and Magog, they are Asian. Satan, according to Muhammad, is black. Muhammad, he made fun of who? He made fun of the Ethiopian. He called the Ethiopian a suwaiqa. You know, the, the, the Ethiopian, they are skinny people, you know. They are skinny, they are tall. So he said, those who have, you know, making fun of their legs, he make fun of the look of the black people. He says, uh, Zabiba, uh, uh, raising head, you know, imagine. He made his slave on the command of a group of white Arab men. And you might ask yourself, how he's a slave and became a command? Because he is good in fighting. Is physically strong. That's why they bought them. You know, those slaves, you know, the one if, if he is not healthy, nobody will buy him. The price will be very cheap. So he is healthy, he's good in fight, and he is expert. So you lead this group. The Arab they complain. How this black man and his slave he will lead us. Muhammad he said, clear words, even if he's if even if he's a raising head. Let us see if we can find the reference. All right. And this is telling you how Muslim they look at the black people. And I'm talking about the Muslim, the real Muslim, that's not those, you know, the, the Arab. Do you see it? This is this is their translation, not mine. He's a slave and he made them a chief in the wartime for their expert in fighting. And yet he is making fun of their look.
that is, uh, you know, this is Islam, you know. Do you see it? Do you see it says a slave? Allah also said, you should listen and obey your command or ruler, even if he was Ethiopian black slave whose head looked like raisin. But when when the Muslims they speak to black people, they don't show those things. Right. We have Samuel. Yes, Samuel, go ahead. Hello. Are you with us, Samuel? Okay, looks like he is not ready. Okay, the C moon, maybe he is now he fixed his microphone. Hello? Moon, are you there? Do you hear me, Moon? You are with us already. Hello? Yes, Moon, go ahead, we hear you. Hi, sir, how are you? I'm fine, go ahead. Hello? Yes, I hear you. What you what you, what you will I try to say before, and we could not hear you. Go ahead. Hi. Uh, so uh, I'm Christian. I want to share some. Uh, I will be quick. It's a long story. So about two years ago, uh, I'm from. I was working. Yeah. Well, your your internet is bad, my friend. For some reason, your internet is bad and it's not working. I cannot hear you. I cannot hear you. It's not working. Let us give him one more chance and see. Yes, Moon, try now. And your ca your camera is on, by the way. Do you know that? Your camera is on. If you don't like to be in the screen in the stream, turn off your camera or put your finger on it. All right. Are you there? Well, obviously, he have a bad internet. You know, if you look at this guy, his name is Muslim. He's talking about God. He gave him a lot of messengers, and he forgave them time after time. I mean, look who is talking about God giving them a lot of messengers, and he forgave them time after time. So why your God did not give you a lot of messengers too? Same time, if the God of the Jew is the same as the God of the Christian, why the God of the Jew, he says, that prophets are coming from the children of Abraham through Isaac and Jacob? Was your prophet from Isaac and Jacob? And if you, Muslims, you claim that you have the same God of the Jews, why your God did not send you ever any messenger? Never. You see the Quran keeps saying, uh, 
diving in the dark. Before Muhammad, nobody came to the people of Mecca as a warner or as a messenger. Never. And this is a proof that Muhammad is a fraud. See, in chapter 25, verse number 56 says, we send you only as a person who tell them and warner. Okay, so he is a warner. But then the Quran full of verses is speaking about that Abraham is the one who built the house or he, he, he rebuilt the house with Ishmael. But chapter 32, verse number three, it says we never send ever a messenger before thee to them. Or say, he, Muhammad, turning to bracket, has fabricated, nay, it is the truth from your Lord that you may warn to whom no warner has come before you. Never. Abraham was not there. Ishmael never was there. And the Muslim, they're trying to hijack the God of the Jew. Yet their God is not a spirit. The God of the Jew is a spirit. And we know the rest, everything in Islam is different. Their God is a shin. Our God is a spirit. Their God is a evil. He promotes evil. He has zero ethic. He gave false prophecies. You know, saying, saying the word God does not make you God. You worship God. And now if the, if the Jehovah's Witnesses, they claim that they worship the same God of the Christian to we love. No, you don't. This is how Mohammedan, they try to make themselves a religion, but in fact they are not. Uh, if you are using the computer, it's easier to cover your camera. If you are using your phone, uh, maybe you should flip the phone while you are talking to me without looking at the screen. Quraysh dialect, same as the Uthmani Quran. There's no Uthmani Quran. Where is the Uthmani Quran? <laughs> you know, when you say Uthmani Quran, it's Uthman Quran, right? Where is that? There's nothing. There's none. They don't have even a single page of it. Don't you see when the Muslim, they open the Quran, they print the Quran, right? If you have a Quran in Arabic, you will see the first pages. There's a page, it's called page A. It says this Quran is according to the recitation of Hafs, Ibn Asim, Ibn Ibn, etc. According to, according to, according to, according to, according to, according to, according to Uthman. But Uthman never recited the Quran. We have Barnas. Go ahead, Mr. Barnas. Hello? Do you hear me? All right, I don't know people, they are joining us, but they cannot join us. Uh, let us see here, we have Jay. Go ahead, Jay. Are you there, Jay? Okay, guys, if you don't want to talk, please don't call me. There's no point of coming here and you don't want to talk. All right? There's no point.
Well, you do not need to come and send a private message in order to ask question. Please ask the question in the chat and we will answer you. So, uh, Bernas, I don't know if I'm saying your name correctly. If I'm not, I hope you will not be upset from me. Uh, he's asking about the book of Genesis and he's asking to explain a certain verse. You know, uh, uh, before you before you try to understand the book of Genesis, uh, don't apply your science to what is written in the book of Genesis. Why? Because if God wants to speak about science, then he will speak science. The book of Genesis is to make some things simple for the understanding. And remember, this book is written for people who lived thousands of years ago. This is not a book written yesterday. 2022 or 23, 24 in the future. This is a very old book speaking in a very simple way about how he, how God, he created uh, uh, the earth and the heaven. However, that when God, he created, it says here that God, he created the skies. Uh, obviously, like now in science, they say there's galaxies, but we don't know what behind galaxies. Maybe there's something bigger. So, what the Bible is saying, that God, he made, obviously, a uh, different level of creation, and different, uh, and in order to see what, what words I would use in English, um, like let us say, You know, when, when you, let's say you are making a cake, and then the cake, the first, the first of all, you, you put uh, uh, chocolate, the second uh, is a strawberry, the second whatever. So there is, there is like, a, 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 there's different design, and there are, there's different, let's say, bodies of this uh, uh, sky. And this is something we cannot talk of, even science now agree with it. But we do not know exactly how far it goes, how big it is, where it is, where it's going to stop, where it's going. We don't know. But we know that we are in a small earth, tiny, in this huge space. Now, the verse says in, in, uh, in verse number seven uh, that uh, God, he separated the sky from the water. Why? Because when God, he created the earth, uh, the earth was like in a in a one form, and the earth was covered by water, according to the book of Genesis. And actually, I saw many articles written by scientists. They agree that in a certain time, the whole earth was covered by water. And until now, the earth actually is 70% or more covered by water, until now. So only 30% is what is seen from the earth, and the rest is covered by water. So... Uh, God, he separated the earth from the water, which means, I mean, the sky from the water, which means he made a distance between them. He, uh, let us say he built the atmosphere for us. He built the shape of the earth and the container of the earth. Uh, verse number eight, uh, and God, he called the firmament heaven and the evening and the morning were the second day. So God gave them a name. So, you know, you can use them. This is the name of it. And I don't see anything really to explain in verse number eight. He just called the skies heaven. He can use the sky, depending on your language. Uh, it's a heaven, uh, simply, uh, because somewhere in heaven or above the heaven is where God, our Lord, he, he is. Uh, but the heaven is not let us say, a limited space uh, to talk about. Uh, I mean, this is even science cannot even talk about. What, 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 is, the, what is the universe? They don't know. They, they are sending now a telescope, and it's sending amazing pictures, and they are astonished with it, but yet they saw nothing. I mean, they are, we are, you know, it's like, it's like sending a mosquito to fly in a massive, massive, nobody knows how big. So the Bible is making it simple speaking to people at that time and in this time because still we know nothing really after all and uh, god he made this but it's not really in detail 
Imagine if this verse, when I talk about how God made the heaven, how many stars there. Actually, the Old Testament says nobody can, nobody know. I mean, the stars cannot be counted. Um, and uh, that's true because there's a newborn star, there's dying stars. Uh, so it's impossible for man to count what in the moment there is. The second you start counting, by the second you finish counting, there's many of them, they died already. And there's many of them, they are born again. In the other stars, I mean. So uh, uh, the Bible never was a book of science. And it's not to talk about science, but it given you an idea how this creation came to existence and who is behind it. As simple as that. So when you go from verse number one to the rest, you will see that this, this is not about science. This is about the beginning. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. So what the Bible is trying to give you a message, that everything we have, the beginning of our existence, not the beginning of God, the beginning of our existence is the creation of God. And he starts with creating heaven and earth. And you see there in the verse it says heaven first, earth second in the sentence. And, you know, and the earth was without form, which means it was, you know, well, I don't know. I, you know, this is why I don't like really to talk about the Bible, because I am I'm short of, uh, in English, I mean, I'm short of words. So, like, the word without form, uh, it says, and void, like, you know, if you have, uh, uh, let's say you have a bulldozer. You have those big machines and they go in your yard and when they go in your yard they miss up your yard it's not level no more it is up and down there is you know i mean especially if they are going in the mud you can imagine what this machine would do it would destroy really the shape of your yard so the earth was not really is like it just let's say it's a ball it's just like a a football uh it is plain it is empty. It is nothing but a rock or solid rock, solid body covered by water. And then the verse says, and the earth without form, and the darkness was upon the, uh, the face of the deep. So, you know, because there's no light, light does not exist yet. So for sure, everything is covered by darkness. And then the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the water. And here you notice how we can always prove that the Muslims are following the false god because from the beginning before any creation any creature God and his spirit God and the spirit of God you see so we have God and we have the spirit of God Muslims they don't have their God does not have a spirit so when somebody says that the Christians is the one who came with the, with the Trinity they created the Trinity this is absolutely false because we have tons of verses in the Old Testament speaking about the Trinity. Uh, so I advise you when you look at the book of Genesis, don't look at it as a book of science because it's not, it's not. It's just a simple way to explain where we are coming from and where we are going. As simple as that. You know, like uh, when we started our uh, program today, uh, somebody asked, do, do the Bible say the sunset? Not only the Bible, we say that too today. The sunset. You go to the water. You search, you search in Google. When the sun rise, when the sunset. If you say something else, Google won't understand. So speaking of the sunset doesn't mean the sun setting. But we know what we mean. Right? If I say tomorrow I'm going to fly, you know what I mean. Obviously, I don't have wings. But now it's accepted to say, I'm going to fly. Why? Because we have airplanes. And when uh, when the book of Genesis you know, written, it, it's given a message for people who lived thousands of years ago in a very simple way. Yet it is really uh, kind of, uh, uh, I, I find it a kind of uh, inspiring to think about the world because when you, you when you look at somebody like if you go in the book of job 
you know, you go in the book of, in the Old Testament, you find that it says that the earth is hanged on nothing. That is a really inspiring. This is science, but it's not, because the the Bible is not a book of science, but scientifically this is true. The earth is hanged on nothing, or the globe of the earth, the globe of the earth, hanged on nothing. It took the scientists thousands of years to figure out that the earth is hanged on the space on nothing, and it's like a globe. But when the author, the writer, who was inspired by God, he did not write a book of science. And this is not his intention. This is a book of belief and faith. It's about God. And all what the book is saying, everything you have belong to him. As simple as that. Muslims think that we worship the same God. They claim they worship. They don't think. They claim. Because they knew we don't. If we worship the same God, then they said to worship Jesus. Do their God have a son? No. So how do they have the same God? Okay, we have Dan again. Let us see what Dan want to say. You can hear me? Yes, I hear you. Go ahead. So who exactly wrote the Torah? Was it Moses or so someone else? The second you, talk, you speak about the Torah, we are talking about Moses. Okay. Yeah. How did Moses write the Torah when it includes what happened after he died? That's what I don't understand. Well, you know, the, uh, Jesus, he was crucified 2,000 years ago, correct? Yeah. Okay. And there is things happen after he died, correct? Of course. Okay. And those things is written in the in the gospel yet before those things happen. So? So you're saying that Moses just wrote about what would happen after he died? There is there is you know Moses is a prophet, right? Yeah, he is a prophet. Okay, so there is there is a there is a prophecy, and there is things happen in his time. So if it's prophecy, it's a prophecy. Prophecy is supposed to happen later. If it's not, then it's happened in his time. So Moses wrote about how he would die. I don't know what you are. If you can tell me about the verses you are talking about, so we understand. All right. I'll try to find it real quick. Might, might not be able to. All right. Well, then, you know, get get your question later. And maybe later you can okay. uh, call me and ask me, all right? Okay. Thank you. Right. Take care. You know, I mean, uh, uh, Jesus, he spoke about how he died, before he died. All right? Moses... Uh, he spoke about uh, his death. Uh, sorry, Jesus spoke about his death. And uh, he was alive. He said, who is going to betray him? He was alive. He said, who is going to, uh, uh, you know, uh, but you know what people think is that Moses he wrote a book. We speak about what Moses. You see, when Jesus he, uh, when we say the gospel, is Jesus is the one who wrote the gospel. So the gospel is a book speaking about Jesus, and about what Jesus said. Doesn't mean that Jesus is the one who wrote it. So when we speak about a book. This book is coming from Moses and what Moses happened with him and what Moses expired doesn't mean that Moses is the one who wrote the book by his hand. Uh, there's, there's a written about Moses. There's a written about, as an example, Solomon. But Solomon did not write the book. Uh, there's, a, there's a, you know, David. 
But David, he is not a writer and he is not writing books. Uh, I mean, there's tons and those and those names, they did not write, but there's written about what happened to them. So people, they are confused maybe about how things is written and who wrote it. The Bible is the book of books, not a book. And each book is telling a story, or let's say there's an there's an, a source of it. Um, You know, when the Muslims, they say that the gospel was given to Isa. But this is false because there is nothing given to Isa as gospel. The gospel is the word of Christ. And what the disciple, the witness with the Christ. And what they heard from Christ and what they said to Christ and what Christ said to them and what other people said to Anything else? And if, you know, if if the book, uh, you know, describes something uh, happened to somebody after his death, obviously, either it is a, a prophecy about what will happen to him if he is the one who said that, or there is a writer, he wrote, what happened to Moses, and this has became part of his book because it is belonged to Moses. Let us say, I wrote my book, Deception of Allah, and then for sure I wrote it while my life, you know. And then a friend of mine, his name is uh, Joseph, Joshua, whatever, uh, he printed my book after my death. He would that this person, Christian Prince, he died in the age of etc., in the year of etc., and he died because of this or that. Um, Muhammad false prophet. We will not need, uh, so, you know, guys, don't send me private messages. I, I will block you. There's no need. You know, if you want to say something, you say it in the chat. Yeah, but Ima, even, I mean, I don't know what he was speaking of when he asked the question, but that won't change anything because uh, in the Bible, there's a prophecy. I can prophesy about my death if I'm a prophet or somebody after me, he wrote about my death, uh, you know, uh, after me. <clears throat> Here, I mean, there is there is here a, a, like an option you can send the private chat, uh, and I don't know why people they don't send the questions or they send the text in the in the in the let everybody read it. I mean, if you have a question, uh, put it in the chat because now I'm look here or look there. All right. Yeah. Let us go and see. Maybe uh, Daniel is back. 
He has done it. Are you there? Are you uh, speaking to me? Or Dan, sorry, Dan. Yes, go ahead. Oh, sorry, man. I was just, uh, I wasn't, I thought I had to wait. Oh, until sorry, I... this is not Dan. Sorry, I, okay, I, I'm mistaken. Okay, go ahead. Uh, Muhammad Fast Prophet. Okay, go ahead. Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry, man. Uh, I wasn't trying to send you a message. I wanted to, I just wanted to put it in the chat. But anyways, it's, it's okay. No worries. Uh, I just wanted to, um, I wanted to talk about the difficulty of Islam. Like nobody, nobody talks about this, this, this side of things. Like what I don't like is when I go on YouTube and I look at, you know, that ketchup boy, <laughs> it's a funny, you called him that, you know, Uthman Ibn Farouk, right? He'll, he'll have a stand and then he has a Bible and it's so easy for him to flip through, through, you know, the Holy Bible and point here, point there, point there. He has the entire, he has all of Christianity in his hand, but then when, when people are walking by and forth, we don't have anything. We don't have the tafsir. We don't have the hadith. If we have the Quran, it doesn't make sense. Like this religion is not fair. Like it's it's very, very hard to um, to, to refute. Like you, you can't hold the books of Islam in your hand. But this guy, he, he, has, a, he, he has all of Christianity in his hand. And he lies about this book, that book, this verse, this verse. Like it's not a fair fight. You know what I mean? No, actually, I don't agree with you because, you see, today we are living in the time of the Internet. And in your phone, you have all the library of the Mohammedan. So when you want to get this Abdul busted, if you're walking by, open tafsir in your phone and get him busted. Good. You know, it's very easy. Islam is the easiest cult ever to defeat. So and when he lie about the Bible, get him busted, too. You know, we have interpretation yeah. for the verses. And get him busted. So they are liars. It's easy to defeat them. And I don't have any excuse. I do not need to carry. Right now, I'm sitting here with you. I don't have a single book around me. Okay. Not a single book. But I have the internet. That is that is the bigger library ever. Correct? Uh, yeah, 100%. I agree. Yeah. So if T you go, just have internet in your phone. And yeah. that's it. You get him busted. If he's saying... Like you know, like in the other day when somebody he said uh, that the Messiah, there's many Messiah, correct? Yeah, he, he did. <laughs> okay, he got him busted. The same as the other guy did. He got him. But show me. You know, he went and he, uh, he 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 quoted a note as if it's a hadith. Stupid. And you don't know. He don't know even Arabic. Arabic, obviously. So uh, uh, it's not really unfair. But let me tell you what what uh, what people do. Muslim, they support Muslims a oh, lot. Yeah. Christian, they don't care. Like, Even look, Jordan Peterson, he how many, started... how many, how many people here, you know, watching my chat? Three hundred ninety-seven, right? If I make a video and Uthman, you make a video, how many of you will will have? You know that the front, right? Even though he's oh, stupid, yeah. even the Muslim are making fun of him that he claimed to be Sheikh, yet you do not know Arabic, you know. Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, the Muslim they support each other. And they support the religion, even though the one they are supporting is stupid, and we are laughing at him. But yes. they support him because they have hope that this guy, he can make a difference. Look, he is fighting for Allah. Look, he is standing in the street. Look, he is trying to know he is doing his best. So the Muslim, they will appreciate such a fool. But we Christians should appreciate such a fool too. We should not complain. Mm -hmm. Because such a fool is the easiest way to defeat the stupid religion. Like now. When I play my intro, I play his statement where he said Muhammad was not Abrahamic, correct? Oh, yeah, yeah. I love that, that one. That is a priceless. Muhammad was not Abrahamic. So they might think that he is you know, useful, but in fact, he is useful for us. And from your side, you should not complain because it's not only fair, it's all, everything is for your benefit. You have all their books and their books is full of garbage. We have one book, they cannot make fun of it. But they will say. Yeah. What they will say. Like what is show me where Jesus he said something is an embarrassment. You know? What the Muslim they will do, what the Muslim they will do, they will say, Okay, do you see the, the loot, his daughters, they have sex with him, so and yeah, they always say that, yeah. According Even, to the Quran, uh... according to the Quran, the the wife of Lot, she was a whore. Oh, <laughs> what, I didn't what know the that. What difference is going to be to make? 
and that maybe make uh, a lot uh, his daughter is not his daughter then uh, so the Muslims and you know when the Bible speak about the story the Bible is not approving the story the Bible is a book reporting what people did yes yeah. to themselves to others and with God and what God did to them so mm -hmm. if I now go and have sex with a child like Muhammad what does this have to do with God is that God if God taught me to do that then that is an issue but if I am the one who is doing that, what does have to do with how that can condemn Christianity? So exactly. they are selling, they are stupid. We have a prophet who is a child molester. He had sex with his own daughter-in-law. What difference is going to be making if it's my daughter mm -hmm. from physically or my daughter from marriage to my son? Mm -hmm. And not only that, if we go in the Quran, and this is what you need to do, like when you when it's, if he come to you with a topic like this. Right yeah. away, you say, you say to him, well, isn't it in Islam is allowed for a Muslim to have sex with his own daughter from his blood? He will say to you, no. And he will <laughs> open the Quran. He will open the Quran saying, yeah. no, it's, it's forbidden for you to have sex with your mother and your daughters. But the Quran says, وَجَعَلْنَاهُ نَصَبًا وَصَيْرًا I'm probably in English. Uh, Sorry, if I can just ask something, it's it's related to the to what you're gonna do when well, you read it. Finish, finish okay. this. Yeah. So sure. the Quran, the Quran speak of that you can have sex with your daughter, but a do adopted daughter or or no what? no your daughter your daughter if she is not a daughter from marriage. Adopted, right? Or sorry, what is no, it called? No, no, um, not adopted. No, no, no. Step step stepdaughter. We call them. No, no, no. Your daughter. Your daughter. I just said she is not from marriage. She is not from marriage, which means she is your daughter from adultery. Okay. All right. So when the Muslim they speak about the daughters of Lot, this is not God permission. This is not God told them go and have sex with your father. This is what they did, and what they did because they fear that they will not have uh, a man, and they they are the last people. There is nobody around. So they wanted to have a children so they can survive. Not because they are filthy. Mm -hmm. However, what they did is filthy. But this is what they did. And this is what they thought is the right thing to do. Yeah. But if we go in the Quran, we will find a clear verse speaking about, if you go to Al-Qurtubi, you will see that there is no problem for a Muslim, a Muslim man, to have sex with his daughter as long as she is his daughter from adultery all right mm -hmm. and this is his daughter not a stepdaughter not stepdaughter let me open the that of seal for you sure and we can use google you can use google translation from your side you know you can just uh, uh you know Open it in your browser and click at Google, and you will see what I'm talking about. Let us go there. Here we go. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. It says here, <laughs> that the scholars uh, disagree about having sex with your daughter from adultery or his sister or uh, uh, the daughter of his daughter uh, the, the daughter of his uh, son from adultery imagine so which, they say uh, some of them they say it's forbidden like uh, 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 ibn qasim and abi hunayfa and then and, uh, and the rest all the rest of the muslims they agree you can have sex with them like, like abdul malik abdul malik uh, uh, shafi'i and the rest, they agree that a man, he can have sex with his daughter from adultery or his sister from adultery or the daughter of his son from adultery. And this is al uh, Let me post the link in the front of everybody. And everybody, I encourage you to go to Google Translation, open, open, the, open the page and, you know, click at the, in the empty space in the page. And choose Google Translation. The browser I'm using is not Google, so uh, Google Translation will not work. Yeah, so do that I, 
I started to save your links now because of uh, how everything's all over the place with Islam. So I'm like, you know yeah. what? I have to do something. So I started to save, save, save everything. Yeah, you see here it says number two, number two. From number two, you know, it says Athani, yeah? section number two. And then it says uh, uh, that Allah, he said that marriage is made by uh, like a, a law, by marriage, by like, you know, Sharia. Uh, and it have two meaning. It is uh, between two human. Ibn al-Arabi, he said that Nasab, which means relation, is uh, uh, by mixing the ma the water of the women, the water of the man with the water of the women, according to the Sharia. And this is what the Muslim are talking about. If you are not having a wife and you sleep with the women, she is not your wife, then she is not, she, the children will not have a nasab. Nasab mean they don't belong to their father. They don't. So they are not considered as a children of their father. And this is why here it says, and because it's not a guaranteed relation, it's from, you know, uh, not from marriage. So it's not considered as when Allah, he says, it's forbidden for you to have sex with your mother and your daughter because she is a daughter for him from adultery. And because she is not his daughter, according to the most accurate opinion to our scholars and the most accurate <sighs> opinion of the religion. See, it's right in front of us. Anyone who speaks oh, Arabic, man. you can use Google Translation right now. And then he says, and because of that, because there is no nasab, there is no legal marriage, there is no legal relationship, so yeah. it is not considered. There is no. It's not forbidden to have a fornication with the daughter and the mother of your daughter. And then here it says, just to to make it even more clear, oh, and, man, that, and, the, and the scholars, the scholars, they disagree about having sex to do ifin to the man to his daughter from adultery or to his sister or to the daughter of his own son from adultery what this is the first time i'm hearing yeah. this when you say my friend when you say this it's not fair no you have all the tools you can destroy this guy easy in two seconds but what happened if you do not know you do not know anyone can anyone can make you feel in this ability that's crazy. Uh, I was watching that that idiot's videos on YouTube. He had a live stream, and it was recorded. I, I wish I saved it. Uh, he was getting a bunch of backlash, like they were all the Muslims were hating on Uthman because he was. They were saying you don't you don't accept Ibn Kathir, Ibn Kathir, and then he said on camera, he's like, no, this is only for the kuffar. You know when they try to disrespect Islam. So he's he's exposing himself on camera while it's being recorded. He's admitting he's lying. We, uh, send, send, send me the link so we can so, so we can make it. If this is what he said. Oh, uh, I see. That's that's what he said he, because it was you, about if, the age of Aisha. If you can cut, if you can cut that part and make it a short video and send it to me, and I, I will be happy to have it. So we can play oh. it. I'll try. I'll, it was yeah, it was a couple of months ago, but it was it was gold. I'm so stupid. He, he admitted on camera he lies to people. Yeah, but you see, uh, yeah. next time when you, when the gold happened, pick up the gold. You're right. Yeah, hundred percent. Right, this guy, right. like I, like I'd never seen such a liar like Uthman, man. Like way too much. Oh man. Yeah, but those people, my friend, they are they help us. Uh, we can use them as you see, because their lies. When you know, you see, you can lie as much as you want. But when people they discover that you are a liar, you will lose respect from everybody. Uh -huh. So you might be successful in the beginning, but then people sooner or later they will they will laugh at you. Oh yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Can I yeah. uh, there, can I just ask one more and then I'll let, just one more thing. You, okay, go ahead. You uh, you you brought up a story that a long time ago where where uh, they they thought Muhammad was going to come back from the grave uh, like Jesus, right? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. I, one thing I was confused about is in Islam, they don't believe in the resurrection. So my question is, why would they copy a fake story? It's a, no, they, it's believe, a fake they believe in they believe in resurrection. What do you mean? No, it's, no, sorry. So they, they the Christian story is Jesus died for three days. He came back from the grave. But but Islam oh, okay. rejects this. Okay, I see. All right. So why, why are they copying a fake Christian story? It doesn't make sense. They, they're they saying it's a fake story, but now they're trying to they're trying to take a fake story and make it Muslim. Oh, no, you see, the Muslims, they don't say they were waiting for Muhammad for resurrection. No. They, no nobody says that. 
this is this is what we say because why did they not bury him but then if you go to the hadith you will see that muhammad because he said to them invoke prayer on me okay and he said and, the, and then they said to him uh, 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 he said and your prayer will be submitted to me and he's talking about his death about after his death so they said to him how we are going how our prayer will be submitted to you and then you will be dead and your body will be decayed he said Allah forbid it the earth from consuming the bodies of the prophet do you see the hadith uh, yeah 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 I okay. see it yeah uh, so okay. because of that now the Muslim they said okay if the earth if nobody if nothing can consume consume the body of the prophet then why we should bury him Ah, okay yeah that makes sense yeah, yeah yeah so they did not bury him in the first day they did not bury him in the second day uh, but then in the third day the guy he <laughs> stink you know so so Ibn Abbas he came and he said <laughs> bury your friend which means Muhammad yeah. he stink like all a human they stink which means they discover right away that Muhammad is a fraud and this is why you see people buy thousands they left Islam after that you know oh, man. That's why we have the war of apostate and remember at that time thousands is a lot you know we're not talking about thousand now we are talking about thousand in the beginning of Islam this is a lot so right away they notice that he's a liar he just said before he died yeah that his body will not decay and then his body did not even survive a second day he start his really there's a different hadith that says uh, 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 that his belly became like a balloon, and yeah. his his fingers they became a green and they shrink, and this is something happened that normally ha you know happened to somebody his body is decaying, so he the color of his, the color of his nails change, his 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 uh, his, uh, his fingers they shrunk, yeah. uh, his belly became full of gas because now the food you ate before you die. Is going the bacteria is going to digest it, you know. The digestion is still working, he the needs inside. Huh? yeah. And then the gas will be filling his belly. And actually, if you leave a dead person for like a week, you know, yeah, is I, 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 I'm not sure how, how long, maybe less. You can ask a doctor about that. But because now his body is full of food or whatever he have here inside him. The gas he cannot fart you know now we when you are alive mm -hmm. when you have a gas you get rid of it right but now yeah. your body don't have the mechanism or anymore to get rid of it so it's going to be staying where in your stomach so uh, the gas keep staying there keep staying there keep staying there until the body cannot have more and then the gas will start coming out as a fart but from the dead body too much pressure, yeah. Too much, too much pressure, yeah. And this yeah. Was Muhammad. he was farting in his death. And this is uh, this is additional proof that he's a liar. And you know, oh, the Muslims can now open the grave of Muhammad. Why you don't do that? You know, why the Muslims don't do that? Tell them, go open the grave. Let us see yeah. if Muhammad really is true prophet. We will find his body as it is, buried, fourteen hundred years ago. Correct. They have his grave. Why do they say he went to heaven like Jesus? You ever heard that that garbage? He, he well, assumed... I mean, this is a, you know, I mean, uh, this guy is a uh, trying to be something. Yeah, yeah, he's trying to be something. And actually, when he said that, people start giving Islam too. Oh, because really? He could, not, he could not describe. They asked him about Jerusalem. He could not describe anything. You know? Yeah, yeah exactly. But they start laughing at him. Oh man! Well, oh, my friend. Anything no else? Worries, man. I don't want to. I don't want to take too, too much of your time. You you posted the Arabic one. I want to. I want to save that one. The the Which, adult, uh, the ad, yeah, I, I, one. I I I posted already. You can. Uh, I will let no worries. Post again. No worries, man. Thank you. Anyways, right. awesome. And this is and remember, this is the official government website of Saudi Arabia. This is not private. This is government. You know, official. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right. All right. Thank cool, you. Man. Take care. All right. Just kick me out of this uh, chat, and we're good. All right. no God bless. Take care.